there's bugs. Uh, there's new features and there's doing releases. And we have a, a documented process around all of those. And all of these are hooked together and manage the launch pad. Now, be interested in talking with other people later. Every upstream is different. Every upstream also seems to have uh, its own way of doing these things. So when you're seeing these, a lot of people have used Garib and go, oh, that's quite familiar. And people have done Launchpad and use the patch queue manager or similar. Uh, you also say, oh, that, that's quite familiar. So we're on a monthly schedule like everybody. We've done 15 releases of GCC 4.5 alone. And every month we do a 4.5, uh, we do a development and a maintenance release. So all up, it's probably 25 or so releases. And with something like Toolchain, a monthly schedule is very aggressive. It is, though, the game that we're playing. So it, it does make it quite hard. We do have a lot of changes landing late. It does mean that during your release week of the month that you may get last minute changes yeah, and you have to put an extra effort into uh, spin. So we take a lot of steps to mitigate those type of problems. Um, automatic builds of trunk, uh, fairly deep test suites, fairly often test suites. There's much more that we'd like to do, and now with uh, Dave and the validations teams, uh, good work in getting more pandas available, we can start looking at things like uh, doing correctness tests with every commit, and uh, doing benchmarks with every commit, and tracking those metrics as well. So the first thing on the list is uh, bugs. We have a, uh, what Kiko calls an SLA, and it's a fine name. It's uh, a basic statement of if you find it, if you pick up our tool chain and want to use it, and you find a bug, here's what we'll do. So it has things in that like, uh, we will triage it within a certain time. Once it's triaged, it will be prioritized and understood. Uh, once we've started working on it, it will be fixed within a certain time, it will be fixed in the right places. So there's a process behind this, and if you grab the PDF, the, there's a link off there on the wiki to that. If you want to search for it, the page is called Bug Process. Uh, so there's a triage process. We try and do that within three days, so three working days of the bug being reported. We'll triage it against upstream versus our various releases, track it down, get a reduced test case, uh, figure out a workaround as well. Uh, but our main focus is performance. So there are limits on how much correctness work we do. Uh, at the moment, it's a fairly simple thing. It's just capping it, uh, saying we spend a, a maximum amount of time for the complex themselves. Uh, so we've got a few tools to help tie this together. And I apologize for a lot of these, because many of these are Friday afternoon hacks. I've got links out of the end to the actual source code if you want to have a play with it. And there's links in the, the PDF here, which is right on the top of the screen if you want to have a play about with them. Uh, this is a, a custom view. Launchpad is a nice thing called Launchpad API. It lets you pull out all the bugs, all the milestones, all types of things in your project. I take a cache of them, and this is a web page uh, where you can group things by uh, different areas. So I started out as group by assignment, group by status, so I could get a better view onto things. Uh, then it added a couple of things, so you can also group by the tag. So we use tickets in Launchpad for both bugs and for new features. Grouping by tags which you group them by the meaning behind the tag, so you can separate out a bug from a new task, from a speed improvement, from a size improvement. And the view that's up here is uh, what I call the lint view. So it's, uh, it's really an aging report. We have this SLA, we say that we're going to respond to things within a certain time. It's no good unless you measure things. If you don't measure things, then you so the lint report takes all the tickets, has a look at them by age, and then groups them. So you can see here I've got a, a new ticket. It was reported in the last uh, four days. So it hasn't been triaged yet, and it says three days. So I should go around that, around that pretty quickly. Uh, and there's the new needs attention. So these are the ones that have gone outside the SLA and need to be looked at pretty quickly. You can see there's also triage, and there's in-progress, uh, and in-progress ones that have been taken longer than they should. Now, these new needs attention, I have excuses for both of those. <laughs> so, let's get that so once you do report a bug, uh, this is the part of the process. You get a 
uh, fairly standard, uh, still human, but templated response. So the interesting words are uh, in bold. Thank you for the bug report. I've confirmed as opposed to can't reproduce or some other way that needs more interaction. With a particular version, here's the particular arguments that uh, reproduce it so that the team can have a look at it and pick it up pretty quickly. Uh, as noted in the report, the workarounds, so we've discovered workarounds, because generally when you're doing a distro, you want to work around now, or if you're in the last month or two of release, you want to work around permanently. Uh, and whether or not the fault exists in previous versions or upstream versions, and if it does exist in upstream ver versions, hey, you could you report this upstream first? Uh, and then a, a fairly simple score-based, uh, this is medium priority, and this is one. So we have bugs, we work through them, we triage them, use them quickly. Uh, once they're actually started on, get through them, use them quickly, and things should be nice and predictable. So we mainly do new work, and that's mainly performance. This is all managed through blueprints. Uh, with this whole changeover to getting smaller and smaller blueprints, the, the nice thing is that things map to launch pad better and better, so fitting more into the launch pad model. Uh, it's mainly performance. There's a few features. Those are normally fairly major that get split out into other things. Uh, and we do a Kanban style, uh, and priorities these through the uh, bi-weekly performance core meetings. Um, and something that's a bit unique about performance work is as you go into an area, you often spawn off new areas. So you could implement a feature. Uh, it should show performance improvement, but what you expose is something else wrong with the chain. So you spawn off a new area of work that you may need to jump onto immediately, or it may be chucked into the backlog for somebody else to to prioritize and then have a look at them when, when they come through. Uh, a patch itself, uh, the upstreams that we work with are, are unpredictable, unfortunately. So that's going to be one of the discussions this week. So we start off by picking something from the backlog, and then we work upstream so everything happens upstream. Uh, you implement it first, that's under your control, and then the things that are out of your control start. So discussion upstream could be many iterations, that's fine. Uh, review upstream, that can take a long time because there are various maintainer rules inside uh, to, to pick GCC in particular. You have different people with different roles, they may be overburdened, they may be on holiday. Uh, it may just get lost because everything's done through a mail address work. Uh, many aborted tends to have something mechanical tracking out there, so nothing has turned out. Uh, finally commit it under our control and then perhaps leave it uh, upstream to have a shakedown. Because upstream covers many architectures, many more than we can handle. So if it has a little bit of shakedown time to find, say, a fault in the power of the or mix, then that's worthwhile. Then it comes back to our side. We backport it into a, uh, into a feature branch, do a merge request. Uh, we have a, a review roster, so every week it's somebody's turn to do a, a fairly lightweight review of things. That seems to work really well, followed by commit and eventually it comes out in the release. Uh, so we're using merge requests, feature with launch pad, you can branch, uh, trunk, do your changes, push it up and propose it to merge. Some interesting things here is over the list the left is the um, comment that Dave has made about the patch itself, and then over right is where the auto builder kicks in. So the auto builder says, hey, I've taken a snapshot of it, I'm going to build it. And then as the different builders finish off, uh, you get a message saying, yep, I built it correctly, here's the difference in the test suite. Uh, the build failed, uh, it also does a basic build is okay or build regress by looking at the test suite. And you've got to automate. This is a, a picture of some of the boards in the validation bar. It's not really important, but I thought it looked quite cool. <laughs> it's kind of blade running, it means you know, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and again, thanks to the validation team, we've had four panda boards running up until now, just in my home office, and now we have six of them with fast USB drives just stomping through the boards. Uh, so those are all done by, again, a homegrown system. Lava will take those over. 
Uh, we also do x86 builds, and those are out in the cloud, and the client will take that for us as well. And the great thing about having new reliable boards behind a reliable internet connection is this is a view of the utilization of those four previous boards. The top view is the number of outstanding jobs. So you can see a couple of peaks there of around uh, 20 jobs outstanding. And when your job takes 15 hours to retire, that's a lot of computing hours. Mm -hmm. And the bottom green graph there is the utilization. It says it's out by a factor of two for some reason. So you can see we've got over 50% utilization there, probably much more. And now this is what the scheduler looks like with new boards in. Lots of clear machines. Right, so uh, talked about bugs, how we do new features, how we review those patch sets before they come in, how they get built. Uh, and the last step in the process is actually getting us in the hands of people. So the release process is nice and, nice and straightforward. Uh, again, if you grab the PDF, there's links there out to the wiki, but you can just search for GCC release process. So we have a documented process for each of the primary products. Uh, it's very cut and paste. It is manual because it needs to be, but it's um, supposed to get rid of any human factors we have possible. So the release process is straightforward. It takes about a day, probably about a day, involving checking out, tagging, doing the final release builds, and there is more testing out there, which might be with guys on the guys as well. And this is the end result. Because everything's tied into Launchpad these days, you yeah, what I think is quite a nice milestone. So this is the 2011-09 GCC release. I had to cut it on too because it's got so much information on it. So you've got everything there, including uh, the download files for the release, uh, all of the bugs that were fixed inside it, uh, all of the blueprints, because they're nice and small, less than a month, they're easy enough to list out there. Uh, so all of the bugs, all of the blueprints, the release there, and then a set of release notes which um, really just summarizes the bugs and the blueprints in a bit more human readable form. So there's a copy of the PDF up on people.onara.org. There's some links there as well if you want to have a play about with my random little web server and see some of the other tools that are there. And if you'd like to talk any more about the process or if you'd like to have a play with the code, then um, yeah, talk to me or have a look at those links. Thank you. Oh, questions. <laughs> Apart from why are you doing this all custom and why do you use a gift? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, how much time do you spend thinking about process improvements and are there other people in your team contributing to think about you know, having new tools or new processes for your group? Uh, I really like the subject, so I spend too much time thinking about it. <laughs> And it is a good thing because it, it just lubricates everything else. It gets everything else running. Like with having the merge request and auto builds, we can have confidence about our uh, our tech provision in our branch, which means that the TS can pick it up inside the auto build often, which means that the Android guys can, uh, when they're doing their continuous builds against tech, which is great because that's more CI. In the interest of time, what more questions? The review uh, only has to be lightweight, but everybody seems to put more effort into that. So we've had a few cases where things have been caught. You partly catch them because we upstream is what's going to be 4.7, we're 4.6. So there are backboard issues and features around there. So yeah, you do catch errors in the upstream version, you do catch errors in the backboard, but 80% of the 